The parents of dancer Mo Lee have arrived in Hong Kong and were whisked to the hospital after testing negative for COVID. This comes as doctors fear he may be paralyzed from the neck down after a gigantic screen landed on him at a concert on Thursday night. Pastor Lee Xing Lam and Mrs. Lee landed in Czech Lapcock from Toronto early this morning. They had flown in via Cathay Pacific to see their 27-year-old son, who was injured in a freak accident while dancing at the concert of local boy band Mirror three days ago. They were escorted by airline and medical staff onto a seven-seater vehicle to leave the airport. Sources say they took a PCR test at their hotel and obtained a negative result at around 9.30 a.m. They then headed to Queen Elizabeth Hospital to meet with doctors treating their son, including the heads of the intensive care unit, neurosurgery and a spine specialist. The father was later seen getting onto a minibus arranged by the government as he left the hospital. He was accompanied by staff in protective gear. According to a hospital spokesperson this afternoon, Lee's vitals are stable, but he remains in critical condition. Detectives from the Kowloon West Regional Crime Unit have now taken over the investigation of the accident. Superintendent Ellen Jung led dozens of officers to the Hong Kong Coliseum in Hong Kong this afternoon. The unit will attend an interdepartmental meeting to study the case tomorrow. Meanwhile, 23 other dancers of the Billy Gerd concert have published a statement calling on people to beware of anonymous comments online claiming to be part of the performance team. They clarified they will not be making any statements publicly or anonymously regarding the incident. They also said they had not started any fundraisers for their three colleagues, Lee, Chang Si Feng and Cizak Law, who were injured that night. Lawmaker Kenneth Falk, who represents the performing arts sector, has urged authorities to speed up its investigation into the accident. Falk said officers can compress some of the required procedures. He also called on the public to give Mo Li's family space. In response to an earlier suggestion by Culture Chief Kevin Yearn, Fox said he will express the industry's concerns to the government. Yesterday, Yearn suggested performances should remain simple and relatively static for now, as the cause of the incident is being investigated. This sparked criticism from the Theatre Arts Practitioners Union, which said the official was shirking responsibility onto dancers. According to the hospital authority, the point-to-point -point transport service for Lee's parents is provided to all compassionate visitors. Chief Manager Gladys Kwan said as long as travelers test negative, they can be exempt from isolation temporarily. This comes as Hong Kong saw 4,634 new infections today, including 179 imported cases. There was one additional death an 82-year-old unvaccinated man, a 22-month-old toddler who was admitted to hospital last Wednesday is still in intensive care, along with 11 patients. Six more people are critically ill, while five others are in serious condition.